Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer data from your Android phone onto your new iPhone 16e. So if your iPhone 16e have already been set up, set up, then you need to erase all the data because the transferring is only available in the setup because it has to just overwrite all the data that's on your phone. That's why it's only available during the setup. So I'm just gonna erase everything because as you can see, I have my iPhone set up. But if you don't, then just skip to the next step where I'm already in the setup. So if you want to erase all the data on your iPhone, go to a general in settings then scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone, erase all content and settings, click on continue, erase iPhone, enter the passcode that you currently have if you have one, and I'm gonna skip the backup actually. Then um, I'm gonna enter my Apple account password if you have Apple account logged in. Then just wait a moment, and the phone will reset in a while. I just need to provide my face ID. And it's being reset, so let's wait. And now uh, you should be in uh, this exact step, which is starting the setup. You should just swipe up, select the language, then select your region. Then select the appearance, either default, medium or large size of the screen. I'm gonna leave it on default, click on continue. I'm gonna click on setup without another device. Then you can customize the, the keyboard settings, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. Then you can connect to the Wi-Fi network, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I think connecting to the network is mandatory unless you select the option to connect to Mac or PC, but without it you just can't um, set up your iPhone. Then you need to wait a moment until it activates itself and checks if it hasn't been um, locked with iCloud and stuff. Now there is a data and privacy. I'm just gonna click on continue. Then I'm gonna click on setup for myself. You can set up the face ID now. I'm gonna set it up, why not? Just need to position the face within the frame and Move it in an oscillating move so it scans it all from different angles. And I'm gonna select the option to not, not to use the Face ID with a mask. Then click on continue. Now I'm gonna create the iPhone passcode. And now uh, this is the most crucial step which is selecting what to transfer data from. So if you want to transfer from Android, click on from Android, then click on continue. Mm, actually, I should have gone back from Android and I'm gonna display the QR code so I can easily just scan it with the camera on my Android phone and click on the link. But you can also just search for uh, for the, the move to apple.com slash move to iOS. I'm gonna click on install here. Then here I'm gonna, on the iPhone, click on continue and let's wait until the app downloads on the Android phone. Then I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna agree to the privacy policy, then click on continue, agree to terms and conditions. And you can send or not the app usage data, I'm gonna send it. Then um, I can see that um, I have low power or something, so I'm just gonna quickly connect this phone.
And once I connect it, I should be able to enter the verification code by clicking on continue, allowing app location per, uh, permissions. So let's select um, that, then allow. Then you can connect it via a cable, but I'm gonna continue with Wi-Fi. Then select the iPhone, click on continue. Uh, by the way, we need to be on the same network. Then I'm just gonna enter my um, verification code and it'll start preparing. Then select which items to transfer. So I'm gonna select everything. But for each thing you need to um, give a permission because this, okay, in call history I have no items available for iOS. Mm, oh, I need to go to the settings because I've chosen the wrong permission. So I'll just click on that. Right, then the photo library, voice memos, mm, apps, display settings and accessibility settings. Then I'm gonna click on continue. And now it'll start transferring. Let's see that on the iPhone. Mm, yes, it's estimating the time to transfer. And in a moment it should be done. And now we can see that the transfer is complete. Let's see what happened here. So, um, okay, I, I, I don't know why, but it just didn't transfer the voice memos, but I don't really care about them because the most important things have been transferred. So now I can continue here. And on the uh, Android phone, I can click on done and put that Android phone away because I don't need it anymore. Uh, then you just need to go to your um, iPhone and you can sign into the Apple account. If you don't want to, you can click on I don't have an account, then click on set up later in settings. But I really recommend um, logging into the account, which if you don't have, you can also click here, then create the free Apple account. Uh, the steps will be pretty intuitive. Um, and this is important, especially because that will give you access to the App Store as well as to the Find My. So in case your phone gets lost or um, stolen, then it will be unrecoverable un until you provide the Apple account password, which only you should know. So um, that makes it really secure. I'm just gonna log in because I already have an account. Then I'm gonna enter the password of camera. And now I need to provide the verification code. So let's see if it shows on my laptop. So the Apple account verification code only shows if you're currently logged in on other devices. Um, if you're not, then probably it'll be just verified via an SMS or something. So I'm gonna agree to the terms and, and conditions now. And it's signing into the Apple account. Now on your iPhone, you have also Mm. You can select a few things like the settings. I'm just gonna click on continue. Um, then you can set up the eSIM um, if you want, or if you have the European version of the iPhone, you can just insert the physical SIM card. I'm gonna click on set up later in settings. Then you can select whether or not you want to share iPhone analytics with Apple and app developers. Then you can also customize the action button. So let's set it to maybe the um, torch. Then click on continue. Then there is some information about the emergency SOS. So read it, click on continue, swipe up and everything is done. 
you can see I have all the apps that have been on the Android phone which is quite a lot of them so probably some of them uh, I'm gonna just um, delete but I'm gonna click on add apps so they will add themselves see there's quite a lot of apps from the Samsung phone that I don't really need but um, yeah besides that uh, everything should be transferred and um, as well as the like the settings of some categories and maybe even your contacts your your your, your calendar and stuff and maybe photos even yes you can see i have the screenshots and stuff so that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time